Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Afghanistan. Where do we go from here? And of course we have with us to give us an analysis of Afghanistan uh, and where do we go from here, uh, Dr. Uh, Leonard Madhu. Uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu, I don't think we need to uh, introduce you to our audience. I think you've been with us a number of, many, many occasions and uh, people are familiar with the kind of knowledge and the kind of information that you bring to us. And uh, we're just glad that uh, you were willing to come by and deal with what we consider to be a very, very important topic today, and that's Afghanistan. And I think we have to consider that important mm -hmm. because we've got some 600,000 uh, troops there, and mm -hmm. there's a possibility of even increasing that, and we have to know uh, some things about that. So let's uh, start off by uh, exactly uh, telling me, as well as the rest of uh, our audience, exactly where Afghanistan is in terms of we recognize it on the map, but tell me something about that area. Well, Afghanistan, you know, is uh, in Central Asia. It has borders with Pakistan, uh, India, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, you know, and Iran. Uh, the modern Afghanistan came into being really in 1919 when the British, you know, ceded foreign control to the Afghan monarchy. And of course, there has been an Afghan kingdom before then, but you've read in history of various invasions from the Mongols and you know, the Russians, etc., etc. But what we call Afghanistan today came into being in 1919, more than the Afghanistan. It is a mosaic of, of ethnic groups, uh, most of them different from each other, facing different constellations. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in the middle, we have the Pashtuns, which is the majority ethnic group in, in Afghanistan, about 42% of the population. Uh, you have the Tajiks, uh, about 27%. Uh, uh, you have the Uzbeks, it's about 9%. Uh, you have the Hazara, it's about 9%. And then the Baluchis, it's about 5%. Uh, mm -hmm. All these different ethnic groups have different orientations and face different powers. Mm -hmm. For example, in the north, with their capital, Maza al Sharif, is the Uzbeks. Mm -hmm. Their loyalty really lies in Tashkent, mm -hmm. who is the capital of a country called Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. That's how they got their name. And their strong man is a man called General Abdul Rashid Dostum. Also in the north, you have the Tajiks. Their loyalty really lies with their brothers in the country called Tajikistan, with its capital in Dushanbe. In western Afghanistan, with its capital in Herat, they are more Iranian-oriented than, 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 than facing Kabul. They go to Tehran more than they come to Kabul. Then, of course, Religion plays a very important role. This is a, an overwhelmingly Islamic nation. 80% of them you know, Sunni Muslims, 19% uh, are Shiites, you know, and then 1% others. Then, of course, linguistically, 50% uh, uh, speak what you call Afghan Persian, or politically it's called Dari. The, the Afghans don't want you to believe they speak Persian mm -hmm. in order to avoid being seen as an appendage of Iran. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the language is Dari. And then the, the second official language is Pashto, which is the language of the Pashtuns. Mm -hmm. you know? And then, of course, you have uh, Turkic languages, Uzbek and the rest. Mm -hmm. This is a country, really, which might not be called a country in the real sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of the different constellations. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've had problems, you know, for centuries about who really controls, you know, that territory because of the different political cleavages. You know, it's a very poor country, 60% uh, unemployment, 60% uh, below poverty, you know, level. Mm -hmm. almost 80% uh, illiteracy in the country. You know? 
And Dr. Madhu, we're going to have to uh, break for this first commercial break, but mm -hmm. uh, when we come back, I want you to pick up at exactly this spot in terms of uh, dealing with these ethnic groups, languages, and et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, I think that a large number of people simply thought that this was more of a homogeneous country than, than what you're portraying here. Absolutely. And it's almost as if nobody understands this, uh, knows this, but you. You Absolutely. see, so, so when we come back, uh, we want to pick up at, at, at that particular point. And, and of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Is Afghanistan.